Okay, let's start it again. <laughs> so, imagine if no one would ever judge you. If you would never have to feel shame. Would you live your life differently? When I was born, I started to creating this story of my life, like all of us. But my only problem was that I didn't have any idea how to be the writer of the story. So I started to build this character for myself, based on outside expectations. I tried to find out what's going to be my role, and how my character should be or behave to fit in this role. I grew up in a smaller city, mostly with my old grandparents. As being half Turkish, transgender, with dyslexia, eating disorder, and highly sensitive personality, it was super hard to fit any of those roles society tried to give me. But as a kid, I still believed that I can choose my own role according to how I feel inside of me. And that was the jungle boy Mowgli. <laughs> However, that wasn't the role I was given. For my grandmother and other adults, I was just wild, badly behaving girl. Tutte poiga, tomboy. In that time, I didn't really care because other kids didn't care either. I played football with the boys since I was five, all the way until I was 13 years old. We were a team, and everybody accepted me because I was kind, loyal, and fun to hang out with. We didn't really have problems before adults decided to start separating us and finally kicking me out of my role. Around that same time, I get this another role, <coughs> to become a woman. And holy shit, how much I hated it. I didn't have any idea how to be a woman. I didn't understand why me. But well, you know, I tried. I put my mom's Burberry scarf around my neck, and my face was full on makeup. Yeah, I know. Next, I try to learn walk with my mom's high heels. But you know, of course, end up playing around with them, and I just broke them all. And finally, I try to learn to scream like a girl. You know that really, really high voice that almost make you deaf? <laughs> well, my voice didn't, but still I went always behind our summer house to practice my skills. And one day, my big brother heard me. He started to laugh, and he said to me that I will never going to sound like a real girl, and that Mowgli doesn't really scream like that. No shit, really? Yeah, I didn't get that either, but I don't want to even give you a sample. All the roles society has given me have only made me feel like I'm never going to be enough. They really teach me to hate myself. I felt that there's something wrong in me. Did you know that 40% 40, 40 of transgenders have tried to commit suicide? But it's not just about us. It's about the pressure and roles in general. I have all my life to try to fit into some roles. And finally, one day, I got enough of trying, and I decided to just be. Just be who I always feel inside of me. And that's Oakley. So, I guess I could say that I quit my acting career and I started, uh, decided to become the writer of the story, my own story. And guess what, guys? Even I have dyslexia and hard time writing, I still think I'm pretty damn good at it. 
Now, my jungle book is full of happiness, love, and equality. Every good story needs different kinds of characters. And diversity only makes it more interesting. But I also noticed that I can only create my own character, but I have to allow others come as they are. Just do you and let others do them. Thank you.